Hello everyone and welcome back. Thank you again for joining me for yet another project. Um, now that I got the garage pretty much organized and dialed in, I've been wanting to get back to my arts and crafts projects. Uh, a few months ago I made a, a quick video on how much I love Bob Ross and oil painting. And so I thought moving forward we would do something like that again. So recently I came across an account on Pinterest, uh, a gal by the name of Wooden Sense. Um, I believe she's here in Washington. And what she does is she'll do these phenomenal landscape paintings, uh, mountains, trees, oceans, or whatever. And then she'll scroll saw wood that goes on top of it to make this really cool picture frame kind of thing. And so because I love oil painting and woodworking so much, I'm hoping to do something similar. Um, as you can see, I have a few paintings drawing behind me. Not sure if I'm going to use any of those or just start a new one. But uh, let's grab some coffee, let's grab our brushes, and let's get crafty. Stay tuned. So initially I thought it'd be easier to glue up all these wood panels, draw the tree outline, and then run it through the scroll saw that way. Uh, but because it spans 18 by 24 inches, running it through the scroll saw just might be kind of troublesome. So what I'm going to do is uh, take all these wood panels apart, cut them individually, and then glue them back together. While the painting is drying, I can already kind of tell that the uh, the cutout that I made for it isn't going to really show off the painting that well. It sort of blocks some of the peaks that I was hoping to sh have it show through. So I think I'm going to do another one, but I'll do the cutout first, and then I'll do the painting second to make sure that I'm utilizing sort of like the negative space. So let's do that next.
Alrighty, well I think I'm gonna call this one a wrap. Um, I had a lot of fun with this project. Uh, not using the scroll saw very much in the past. I learned a lot. Definitely some room for improvement. Um, but extremely excited, excited on how these turned out. I do feel like doing the cutout first and painting second turned out a lot better than uh, doing it the opposite. But learn from my mistakes, move forward. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to do more of these projects in the future. Um, anytime I can do oil painting and woodworking in the same project, it's just right in my wheelhouse. Uh, thank you again for Wooden Sense for inspiring me to do these. I hope you guys check her out. She's got a lot of cool stuff. And thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And so hope to see you guys in the next one. Catch you then. Bye.